G'day. In today's video, I've got a Lenovo Yoga L390 with an 8th gen Intel, and I believe it's currently overheating. So, this one, I'll open it up. It's an ex school computer. It's had a fairly hard life, and overall, I just want to crack it open to check out the quality of the fan. See how dusty it is. While we're here, I might as well mention what could be upgraded, what could be changed as I will be able to see all that as well. And you go, all the screws are now loosened. Great. Yeah. Just started to pry it there in that corner. Yeah, some of those screws, most of those screws didn't actually want to come out. Some of them need to go a bit further, and some of them probably have broken mounting points. Oops. This one I didn't fully power off. I believe I did, it must have woken itself up, so what I'm going to do is dis disconnect the battery. I'm going to put a fingernail down here, push that way. A little tug on the power lead. You get me there? While we're here, it looks like we can upgrade the RAM. So we can put in two sticks. Pretty straightforward stuff. Slides out, has a single notch. This is 8 gig of a DDR4 2666. You basically get 32 megahertz RAM or whatever's cheapest, and it should go fine in here. To install it, we have to look at the notches here and here. Make sure your RAM is on the same orientation. Slide it in and pull down. So if I turn it around the way it came, slide it into the groove at a bit of an angle, push down. That's the RAM now installed. We have an upgradable NVMe drive over here. PCIe NVMe. This one's only probably a 256. Uh, you can see that in the model number. 256, so yeah, 256 bottle. This one here, I do want to take the fan off and just give it a quick clean. And I will replace the thermal paste over here. Because I believe I've still got some floating around during this Christmas period. So one. Two, three, four, and one screw over here. Fan itself is freely moving. Okay. We have some very dry thermal paste down here. I always find it weird how the iGPU never actually gets thermal paste put on it. It always seems very odd for something that's going to take a split second more. Granted on here, it's not actually making contact. It'll be making contact here. So maybe even like a thermal pad. It's probably really not gonna make any difference, but that's my thoughts on that one. I'll move this out of the way just briefly. Now I wanna undo the fan cover and just see if there's much dust getting caught in here. One. These steps here are basically the exact same steps you could take if you were needing to replace the system fan on your laptop. Being the machine is described as overheating over time, and here we go. No, not in the way, not much. If we had this here going all the way up, I'd expect cooling problems, but I don't believe it's an issue with the fan. Well, I'm here, I'm still going to give it a dust blowout. The fan itself is alright, so I'm hoping that it's just the thermal paste. Go. Uh, 
I just want to give this some isopropyl alcohol. Wipe some toilet paper. Same as tissue paper. Okay, nice and clean. Put that off. Bring this back. Sadly, I don't have any decent thermal paste around. I do have some old deep cool Z5 that I freshly opened today. Hopefully, I've got enough left over here to actually do this chip. Plenty. Look at that. Smear it around. Make sure it gets full coverage. Since this doesn't have an integrated heat spreader where it's not actually got thermal paste on it, it'll want to transfer. up, drop it down, a little bit of pressure, tighten up loosely, tighten up firmly, over here too. So that's basically all I want to do on this machine. <clears throat> Your battery could be upgraded, your V drive can be changed, your Wi-Fi card can be changed. Your battery here can be changed. So a fair bit of upgrades can be done. This one, it's about all I'm gonna do with it. Place the thermal paste, check the fan, showed you how to reinstall RAM, talked about the NVMe drive. I should be able to fold this down, slide this battery connector back in, like so. Push, and we're connected. Now I'm gonna put the back cover back on and fire it up from there. Hope this helps having a look at the L390 by Lenovo. I'll catch you guys in another video. And that will do it for today. Bye. Do you know that little screw that came out? It came out from up the front here. Bye.